What's up guys, Tom here. Um, time for another update. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everything's good. Uh, coffee. As usual, what we're listening to in the background is a recommendation from uh, Chris Cole, John Cole Trade 68. It says, Dr. Le no, Noel Jukes and the Dr. Legato Express. Just passing through from 1979 on the Revelation Records label. He used to like post pop stuff with um, Latin, Infused, post pop. Um, yeah, I just put the record on as you hear it, so um, hopefully it's not too loud. But the only thing about it, no really known players uh, other than Jerry Grinelli, I believe. Plays percussion. Um, pretty good so far. Pretty cheap too, pretty accessible. Uh, if you like what you're hearing, you could probably find it really cheap. I got paid like four bucks for it. Uh, next up here, another one. Thanks to Sir Chris Cole, uh, Paul Blay Syndrome. It's not too loud. So released in '63. Uh, means I'm sorry, recorded in '63, not released until '86 uh, uh, on Savoy Jazz. Um, you got so you got Paul Blay on piano, Steve Swallow on bass, and Pete Larocca on drums. Um, I believe, yeah, three of the tracks were uh, Paul Blay's composition, and the rest or by uh, Carla Blay, his wife's time. Well, I guess it wasn't as known back then, so pretty interesting. Um, like I said, it did come out on some voice, so it's a label. And there's actually another album, the same lineup, uh, recorded around about the same time, 62, 63, and it came out um, in 84, two years before this one. Same situation, you know, recorded back then, never released, so that one is called Floater, I believe. I recommend that one as well. Just as good as this. Um, free jazz, avant garde, jazz type of stuff. Definitely worth checking out uh, if you're into Paul Blay. <laughs> this was a great find right here. Got a great deal on this one too. Um, Ten bucks. And it's in pretty damn good shape too. This is uh, Andrew Cyril and Maya Mayano or Mayono Celebration from 1975. Uh, IPS, which is uh, the Institute of Percussive Studies. Milford Graves and Andrew Surreal's uh, label, I guess they started it. Um, very nice variation of styles and playing styles on here. I um, really enjoyed this. And a nice lineup, too, as you can see in the front there. Got uh, Gene Lee, Eloise Lofton, Alphonse Timber, David S. Ware, which is one of the big reasons I got it. Ted Daniel, um, Donald Smith on piano, which was an uh, awesome piano player who unfortunately passed away too soon. Um, I want to get a solo record called Love, which is really good. Uh, yeah, great lineup on this. It's just a killer, killer record. Definitely worth picking up if you can find it for a good price. That's what the IPS label looks like. Um, yeah, highly recommend this. Or anything on the IPS label, really good. Alright, next one here is one I've been looking for for a while. This is, um, this isn't really like my preferred pressing, but I found a really good deal on it, so I couldn't pass it up. Sun Ra Hilo Centric Worlds Volume 1. This is the 2009 reissue, an ESP disc uh, numbered out of a thousand, number 288. This doesn't really matter, but. I guess the first 20 were uh, hand hand signed by uh, Bernard Stolman, so that's pretty cool. Wish I could have gotten one of those, but got this after the fact. That's the white ESP label there. Um, yeah. Sun Ra, you guys know all the of Sun Ra. Can't go wrong with Sun Ra, really. In my opinion, he's always, uh, he always pulls something out of his album, so. I am still definitely looking for a uh, earlier pressing, but this one was so cheap I had to pick it up, so. Just uh, wanted it in the collection, so. Really cool to finally have this. Oh, and this one, still 45 came with it. Um, it was actually in the Sun Ra record, so. I don't know, it's on uh, Daptone. One of the newer um, funk, kind of funk revival labels. Um, this is by La Culebra. It's called The Company. The track is called The Company. 
wait, is it? No, I'm sorry, the group is called The Company, the track is called La Culebra, because on the back it's La Culebra Part 2, so yeah. I guess it's funk, I just sampled it online, it was alright, but I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but... Another one I've been after for a while, really happy to finally cross this off my list. You guys already know, Joe Chambers, the Almorvid, Almorvid, maybe that's how you say it. Um, yeah, really, really nice, just have great players on here too. Woody Shaw, Garnett Brown, Harold Vick, Cedar Wallen, George Cables, Richard Davis, Walter Booker, Cecil McBee, just damn good, um, I guess post pop, but just really, really great rhythms, really well done. Uh, white label promo, if you guys could see that. Without a glare. Um, yeah, white label promo on this. Really nice find right here. I've been after this one for a while as well, so really happy to finally get that. Um, this next one I found this sealed for uh, really cheap, so decided to grab it. Dewey Redman, look for the Black Star. This was a reissue from 75 on Arista Freedom. I believe this is Dewey Redman's first album. Um, originally uh, released in 66 on Fontana. If you guys know Fontana, you guys probably have those really uh, distinctive covers. Um, look up any Fontana release in the 60s, you know what, you know what I mean. But um, yeah, this was a really great album actually, which uh, you could probably imagine. Being Dewey Redman and for players, you got Jim Young, piano, uh, Donald Garrett on bass, once again, and Eddie Moore on drums. A really, really great uh, debut from Dewey Redman. Um, basically, a little bit of everything free jazz, post bop, avant garde. Um, yeah, Dewey Redman wrote all the tracks and composed all the tracks himself, so really cool. Recorded in 1966 in San Francisco. I would definitely recommend this one. I'm sure you can find it for pretty cheap because it doesn't go for a lot at all. So, yeah, air stuff freedom. Um, so, really cool find right there. And luckily, it wasn't warped. You never know with the sealed uh, records. It can be a gift in a car sometimes, it can be warped sometimes, it's fine. So. to finally find this one. Another ESP disc, I finally cross off my list. Uh, another Pharaoh Sanders too. Pharaoh Sanders, uh, Pharaoh Sanders Quintet. I believe it goes under another name too, but I think it's just uh, the Pharaoh Sanders Quintet. But ESP disc, 1003, so third release on the label, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's two tracks, but really, really good. And I believe this is an original. From everything I can tell, about it, it is an original. The only thing is, it has um, doesn't have the writing right here with the reissues too, but someone did write in pen all over right there, as you can see. So that's kind of pain ass, but I mean, it's 30 bucks, you know, so I wasn't gonna pass it up. No splits, um, really clean vinyl too. The record itself is damn clean, so let me show the uh, label there. Yeah, really, really cool. Damn happy to have this. Um, I was kind of going back and forth if I should buy it or not. If I wanted to get it, but I went for it. I got it, so... Um, I will probably... I'll probably not look for another upgrade because this is... I can live with this. Not that bad. If I happen to come across one for a good price, I'll grab it, but I'm happy with this. Came with the inner sleeve, too, which is in really nice shape considering um, original inner sleeve. So, really, really cool. Um, if you guys don't know this album, I would uh, highly suggest checking it out. I believe it is Pharaoh's uh, debut from 65. I believe it recorded in 1965. Um, yep, 1965. So, it's a on cover, like it should be, I believe, too. So. Um, really cool. Really fucking psyched to have this one. Too bad it's so hard to get pen out of covers. Someone has a great, a good way to get pen out without ruining the cover. 
let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to leave it be because I don't want to mess it up. I've got a couple Jackie McLean records here. Um, this one was sealed as well, actually. Found it with the Dewey Redman. This is Jackie McLean and Michael Carvin, Antiquity. This is on Inner City from 1976. I believe it came out in 75 on Steeplechase. And then uh, Inner City put it out in 76. Um, yeah, just a dual record, but really different than uh, a lot of a lot of Jackie McLean stuff. A lot more avant-garde, um, kind of free jazz, really atmospheric. Times really, uh, maybe even the dry, drums are a little bit maybe tribal at times. Even just really cool. Um, yeah, really cool piece. Like I said not the usual uh, Jackie McLean fare, so definitely recommend checking this out too. Actually, you know what, maybe I'll try to put this on for a second. I believe there's one track on uh, online, but I'll put on something else that maybe isn't online. And that Jack and the Clean album, see what you guys think of it. But I thought it was really good, definitely surprising. Um, yeah, I definitely didn't really know what to expect. I heard one sample online, I really liked it, so definitely glad I got it. Uh, this is going to be, I guess we'll just start from the beginning. Let's see what we get here. Antiquity. Next up, another Jackie McLean joint. I'm on the Blue Note label. This is Action, or Action, Action, Action. Um, great record, a lot of great players on here. You got Charles Tolliver, Bobby Hutcherson, Cecil McBee, Billy Higgins, so no way I was going to leave this one behind. Um, a little bit of a split here at the bottom, but it is a Liberty Press, so it's not an original. But Still in pretty decent shape. It was under 10 bucks, so. Definitely happy to add it to my uh, slowly growing Jack and the Clean collection. I think it's only my third or fourth Jack and the Clean. So. And lastly, here, we will finish off with a classic record to be in everyone's uh, collection if you're a jazz fan, spiritual music fan, Pyramids. Lalabella. I take that to sleep real quick. Um, their first album. I had the other two. I'm happy to finally find this one. Forget this one because I've been at my shop just sitting there waiting for me, waiting to pick it up. Um, I like to get the original one day, but this will do just fine for now. This is the latest reissue on Disco B. Um, originally released in 1973. If you guys aren't familiar with uh, the pyramids, definitely I highly recommend go checking checking any of their stuff out. Um, it's jazz, but spiritual, just Afro jazz, um, filled with funk and all sorts of different sounds and styles. So highly recommended. Um, I'm sure lots of you guys know what this is though. So I will leave a sample as usual. Alright, so that's it. That was the last piece. Thank you very much for watching. Um, the pyramid was sealed, by the way. I didn't open it yet, but I'm probably going to open it right now. I just got it. It's right at home, so that's why I didn't show the label. Nothing too crazy about the label, though. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Definitely. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, couple needle drops here I did. If you can hear, I'm still trying to work out the whole volume thing. So. Sorry, really thirsty for some reason. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Leave me comments if you want. Or don't. Um, go check out Jack and McLean, anything else I showed. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.